All right, so we're off. Um, as a recap, um, before you your climb to the top of Firefinger, Snarn found another stone of Ubtau similar to the one in Wakanga's garden in Port Nine Zaru. Engraved in the surface was the word Firefinger. And uh, as you made your way perilously to the top of Firefinger, uh, there were several close calls. The danger of falling was coupled with dangerous wolf spiders, possibly vampiric sturges. Uh, but worse was the evil terrafol guarding the small nursery on top of Firefinger itself. Along the way, you rescued an Aarakocra named Nefir, who invited you to Kir Sabal, and said that Ashara would repay you for saving him by performing the Dance of the Seven Winds, imbuing you with the power to fly, if only for a short time. And after a difficult fight, you did in, end up defeating the Terra Folk, uh, found some treasure, magic items, as well as Azaka's mask. Um, the good mood, though, after the battle turned dark when you realized that Baloo, who had been unable to make it up Firefinger, was being hauled off into the distance on a dinosaur-drawn wagon under the guard of small frog-like figures. So, on the map, I marked the uh, stones of Ubtau, uh, one in Firefinger and one in Port Nine Zaru. Um, so, you made it safely, uh, just for, for brevity's sake, you made it to the base of Firefinger, and you now stand next to the, I don't know, banana leaf lean-to or whatever that had sheltered blue. And uh, you see in the dirt strange amphibian tracks uh, that you assume must belong to these frog-like creatures, as well as the unmistakable ruts of the wagon that bore him away. The tracks yeah. clearly head south toward a small mountain range in the distance. Azaka stands before you, entranced by her mask. She turns it over and over again in her hands, running the pads of her fingers along the smooth wooden surface of the mask. Miss Stormfang, stop looking at your mask. Where has Mr. Blue gone? How did you allow this to happen? I could not see him from where I was in Firefinger. But the tracks clearly lead that well, way. You have she, she points to the south. You have your mask. Now help us track our friend. Very well. Um, who, uh, who's who got survival? I do. All right. I do. I mean, the ranger too. Just make a survival check with advantage because you can see the wagon tracks. Kind of go in and out over rocky and maybe muddy soil. and uh, There's more than one. Okay. Yeah, you both do. Yeah. So essentially, um, on the map, you see a mountain range off to the south southwest, and it essentially looks like it's going off in that direction. Um, uh, I take a look at the tracks to see if I can identify the type of creature. Okay. Yeah. Make a nature uh, nature check. They're Kermit. I'll assist you with that. Okay. All right, so you both look. Um, all right, so you can, I think that you um, perhaps recognize, based on the size of the tracks, that they're definitely sort of amphibian creatures and uh, that you had heard tale of small humanoid uh, frog-like creatures called grungs sorry choking back a sneeze grungs plural hey guys uh i heard of this before it looks like uh grungs kind of made off with our friend are you able to follow the tracks i can try Help. Then we have to go get Mr. Blue. Okay. So Storm Fang, 
you should lead the way. Okay. She takes another long look at her mask and she puts it in her pack, ties her pack really tightly, you know, two or three times, you know, obsessively making sure that it won't come loose. And, uh, she heads off to the South and West after Baloo. Baloo, you open your eyes to a gray darkness and a pinprick of light far in the distance grows slowly until your, your vision begins to return. You don't know where you are or even what day it is. And as you try to move, you realize you're firmly tied down to a wagon or a cart or something made of wood. You are strong enough, but you really pride yourself on your hardy constitution. But you feel terrible, sluggish and weak. And you recognize the sickly sweet taste of poison in the back of your throat. The blurriness continues to fade away, and you see, looking down at you, a red-skinned, frog-like creature sitting on your chest with its elbows on its knees. It whispers to you in a soft, female voice, Oh, do not struggle, large one. There are too many. It is better if they think you are unconscious. Wink if you understand me. Gary, I don't know if it's uh, what it is that you're cutting in and out. Am I? Maybe your mic sensitivity. Yeah, yeah. Check my settings. Is anybody else hearing that too? Uh, I, I lose um, every couple words. Okay. Yeah, I lost a little. How about now? Is that better? Am yeah. I cut, am I cutting in and out at all? No. No. Okay. It's probably just because you were talking so softly. Yeah. Uh, let me start over. Um, so, sure. Baloo, you, you open your eyes, and um, your vision slowly returns to you, and uh, you recognize the taste of poison in your mouth. And you feel terrible, sluggish, and weak, and as the blurriness fades away. You, you do see looking down at you a red-skinned, frog-like creature sitting on your chest with its elbows on its knees. It whispers to you in a soft female voice. Do not struggle, large one. There are too many. It is better if they think you are still unconscious. Wink if you understand me. Blue winks. She uh, she looks over her shoulder at the yellow grong manning the reins in the front of the wagon as if to ensure he isn't listening. <clears throat> she instinctively reaches for what you assume is a holy symbol around her neck. At the same time, she reaches down and touches your symbol of Torm. My name is Croc, she says. I'll spell that in the chat. I too am a priest. I hope we are of a similar mind. I need your help and you need mine. But now you must rest. Rebuild your strength in secret. You will need it if you hope to survive. And instead of the mild poison that they have been giving you to keep you weak, Croc tips a bit of a healing potion into your dry mouth. She winks at you and looks over her shoulder to the yellow grung. Uh, he was beginning to stir, Rourke. I had to give him another dose. He is so big it is hard to keep him under. The yellow grung grunts and says, King Croak will be pleased with this one. For his majesty's upcoming ritual, he will serve as a perfect sacrifice. And... Uh, we head back to the party. You guys. So uh, Baloo will just pretty much play along, and okay. he kind of wink. He kind of just he has his eyes closed, but he wink. You know, he squints an eye twice to whenever she asks him a question or whatever answers that way, and then bides his time. Okay, perfect. Cut to the party. Um, you track Baloo and his captor steadily over the next couple of days, 
you feel confident, uh, their head start's not insurmountable, especially since they, they're having to, you know, carry Baloo along. Um, the trail winds in and out of the jungle once you get closer to the mountain, up into the foothills of the small mountain range, and then west back into the jungle to the east. Um, at one point while in the jungle, Asaka leaves the trail. and She says, uh, wait right here. I think I see something we may need. And then you kind of see her digging around at the base of a, like a, a spindly, crooked bush, and it's got bright red foliage on it. And, uh, can I follow her, or is she within distance that yeah. we can see her? Yeah, no, you can see her. She's just maybe 15 feet off the trail. Okay. And uh, she looks up at you while she's digging. She pulls some roots out from beneath this plant, kind of knocking it over. And uh, she kind of rubs the dirt off, and she says, I have one for each of us, and an extra one if we find Baloo. She says, these are Rayath roots. They will sustain you in a battle. And then she looks beyond you in the foothills. And um, she says, I do not like where this trail leads us. Too many places for an enemy to hide. I feel we will need these before the day is out. Let us stop for a moment, make some tea, unless you would rather eat some as they are. And uh, she offers them to you all or offers to make you tea out of these Arayath roots. Leon takes one and one. <laughs> Just eat it whole. Yeah. So Gary, since I'm since I'm I'm sedated, but I'm I'm somewhat awake. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna kind of while I'm uh, like playing unconscious in my mind, I'm gonna pray to Torm and and uh, and do like my morning prayer kind of thing. Okay. In my head, not okay. out loud. Yeah. Anyway, you can... If I it, am I able to adjust spells or? Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Perfectly. Okay. Yeah, and eventually, so you were like really sat down to you know, one hit point with the poison, um, but she's you know, slowly giving you healing potion instead, and you're, you're ultimately going to be able to just benefit from a long rest after that. So up your hit points and spell slots and uh, prepare whatever spells you think. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Um, so Ken, um, so... Uh, Sorry, Leon eats one. Mm -hmm. Who else? Nimbus kind of smells it and just kind of puts it in his uh, his pack. Okay. Yeah, I'll take one. Put it in my pack. Okay. Um, she says, "I fear I fear where this path you... takes us. We may need them today, but if you'd like to hold on to them, that is your choice." Oh, yeah, I was going to wait till we set up. Okay, I'll eat it. Okay. Yeah, let's just say you've, you've started out from the morning and uh, you're headed into the foothills of the mountains. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll eat mine. All right, so Tabaxel and Ken. Anyone else? Uh, I'm going to hold off. Okay. Is uh, she making tea? Yeah, she make a tea. So uh, yeah. you can either eat it or uh, drink the tea. And those who do uh, like gain the benefit of essentially a healing <laughs> potion. Uh, so roll 2d4 plus 2 and temporary hit points. And so they're good until your next short or long rest. Oh, temporary, temporary hit points? Yeah. Temporary hit points? Yep. Can I try to see what she dug up and remember what it looked like? Or okay, yeah, it sort of looks like a uh, like a ginseng root almost, um, except it's got like a more reddish color, and uh, the the plant was unmistakable. It was a real spindly looking bush and it had bright red foliage. Um, you hadn't seen anyone like it so, uh, before. So can we see like? Nimbus wants to look around to see the effect that eating or drinking it has had on the others. And it doesn't seem to be having an adverse effect, correct? Yeah. I mean, you guys tell me. What is, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. <laughs> I 
feel like I could take on the world. You know, um, like when Popeye eats the spinach and the uh, steamboat uh, tattoo on his arm like blows smoke out of the steam engine, the the stack pipes. That's that's what happens. I feel like okay. I, can make, I feel like I can make a couple laps around this jungle. <laughs> Nimbus feels. Um, I gotta drain the lizard. You're right back. <laughs> he finds a tree somewhere. Nimbus uh, eats the the plant. Okay. All right, so roll up some 2d4 plus 2 for right. temporary hit points. And it's good until, I think temp hit points are good until your sh- next short rest. And what is it, a 2d4? 2d4 plus 2. two. Okay. Yeah, just like, a, just like a healing potion. Snarn, I'll give it a try. Go for it. Nice. All right, and whoever does not, uh, Azaka will. Uh, Tabaxel did. I guess Hickeby had some tea. Snarn did. Nimbus did. Leon and Blues. We got one save for Blues, so everybody did. Okay. Hit points. Temporary. 198. Yeah, I think it's... Oh, they last until depleted or you finish a long rest. So, long rest. Okay. Um, so, you continue on with your journey. You break camp eventually. And you're several days following Blue. And I think at, at this point, some of the tracks maybe get a little uh, fresher looking to you. And that you recognize that you might be making ground and gaining, gaining uh, purchase on this, uh, this tracking effort. Um, you do, though, reach a point in the foothills uh, where you reach a crossroads. And there are several wagon trails and footprints everywhere, not just the uh, grung footprints, uh, but humanoid and all kinds of different sorts of footprints. And there are trails leading sort of all around, but there are three trails that head off uh, basically to the south uh, where the mountain range was going. And um, which one would you like to pick? Uh, make a check, try to follow the same tracks? or Yeah, you can, you can do that if you want to make a survival check. Okay. Nice. So uh, the path that leads, uh, the right path, the one actually closest to the mountains and less close to the uh, jungle, seems to be, you, you recognize the, maybe, maybe some dents and gaps in the wheels of the wagon make a print, and you recognize that print uh, in those tracks. All right. I'll point it out and say I this one. Nimbus follows. All right. Let me move you guys down actually. Put you two about there. Uh yeah, somewhere there. Nope, not there. I'll say there. Um Okay. Let me let me have everyone make a perception check. You enter you enter into this uh, area and it's vastly different than the jungle. Uh, there are rocks, boulders all around. The, there's you know scrub grass and things like that, but there are no real trees, anything like that. Damn. <laughs> All right. 
So perception. So snarn. Okay. So snarn and nimbus. You're going to be surprised here, guys. But uh, Jace, uh, Tabaxel and Hickaby, you both hear something up in one of the rocks in this little, it's kind of like a valley almost. And uh, do either of you speak orc? Mm, no. Nope. I don't think Hickaby does either. So you hear some scrambling in strange language. I'm sure I gave it away, but um, <laughs> what, what you see is this. Um, Sean, can you see that? Sean? How about the rest of you? You can see it? How's everybody for it? I think, I, I think you guys slept, right? Yeah, we, no, we came from the tower and oh, moved okay. on. Can you guys hear me? We didn't just have a rest? I think it was just, I don't know if he was just talking about me or you guys. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I was just making sure. I said, Sean, can you can you see the map? Yes, I can. Okay. All right. So, uh, what you hear is you hear some arguing, and then you hear some scrambling. Um, and Hickaby and Tabaxel, you see up to your right uh, these creatures. Uh, a couple of orcs and a large looking orc sort of scramble uh, from the rocks and the first is like you fool and uh, he just puts his arm up in the air and uh, you assume that means to attack those are strange looking goblins they're the hobgoblin <laughs> so let us roll some well make sure the it's clear Did we have a rest, Gary? How long have we been on the road? Uh, yes, you have. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't healed up since the tower. I don't okay. know if we did or not. All right, go ahead and do that. And then uh, oh. once, you're, once you're done, we can roll some initiative. Okay. I didn't know we got a short. Sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. Mm. Yeah. One more. Dun, dun, dun. All right, 12. Didn't you also say it took us a couple of days to even get here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a long uh, rest, so. Yeah, yeah long so rest. You have all your hit dice and you have all your, yeah. all your hit points. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm good. And when you hear the battle call um, oh, from the orcs on that side, you see several scramble up. It's so weird, Gary. Your your mic is on in the program, but you still cut out occasionally. Really? Hmm. Like I see the green ring around your name, but every once in a while we can't hear you. You're not cutting in and out. It's just like literally either it's either on or off. That is strange. Yeah, so like you just came in here and I heard the last half of strange yeah that's what I heard as well oh boy that's what I get for getting a new mic maybe <laughs> yeah it's that noise cancellation crap it's probably it's uh, let me see if I've got that on no it's off <laughs> yeah I've got mm -hmm. I've got echo cancellation I've got everything turned off I've got my input sensitivity down to negative 92 dBs. See if push to talk works better. No, nah, because I talk so much that it's just like a pain in the ass. Or just leave it on. I mean, it's perfectly fine if you just leave it on instead of having it voice activated. 
Oh, shit. Because that's what you used to be like. You, used to, you were on all the time when you had your table mic in. Yeah, it should be now. Um, Maybe no, he's cursing us. And yeah, no, he doesn't want us to hear. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it should be on the whole time anyway. It's just his, well, it's his voice yeah. activity. There's, well, you only have two selections. You can have voice activity or push to talk. There's there's nothing. There's nothing in between. Or there's what no other. Well, what about your input and your output volumes? Are those? Yep, cranked up. Cranked up. Hundred percent. Playback. Yeah, and in fact, it's plugged into a preamp, and the preamp has a gain switch. And the gain switch is all the way up. Yeah, 100%. All right, I guess I'll just lean into the mic and see if that helps. Oh, yeah, baby, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe return this one. I don't know. Yeah, it could be a faulty mic. I don't know. I'll just turn the input sensitivity way down. Maybe I won't cut out. How's that? Does that sound better? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All righty. Um, everybody roll initiative. Look at you guys with your high numbers. Did everybody roll? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? Five, Can you hear me now? I didn't roll. <laughs> Fuck. That's it, buddy. Let me unplug this shit. Plug it back in. All right. How about now? We apologize to everybody out there in... in the YouTube land, we're having technical issues. Yeah, no shit. Can you hear me? Hello? God damn it. We schedule a program and return shortly. How about now? I blame Tabaxel. What the heck? All right, hang on. How about now? Can you hear me? Depends on the time of day. It's probably what the? like overcast. Or, oh, it's uh, overcast. Oh, because oh, you said we're in a big opening. That's true. I mean, I'm in. How about now? I probably have some shadows, but unless it's overcast, you're probably fine. Wow, there's a lot of orcs now. Look at all the orcs. Yeah. How'd the frog guys get by with no oh, orcs? Dear God. What happened? That is maybe they, maybe they have a deal. Maybe. Holy maybe. shit! There's a lot of orcs. Maybe Excuse my language. Maybe maybe they offer lickings. Oh, the other side. Mister Orc, you can it. you can lick us for uh, passage. <laughs> probably said, "Leave us alone, or we'll wake our giant elephant bodyguard." That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach Gary to get a new mic. How about now? Yeah. Oh, you know what? How about now? We heard bout now. God damn it. Let me really? see. You guys didn't catch all that? Not all of it. I thought I heard it. I all. heard it. He's not, saying, he's not saying anything right now, though. Right. How about right now? Is that better? Yeah. That works. <laughs> all right. It's weird. The settings just keep going crazy on me. Um, okay, cool. I, th I think I got it figured out if this is good. All right. All right. Let's do this. Uh, Nimbus, you were up. Put on some moves. Now, I got surprised, though. So oh, does that... right. No, so unfortunately, you do not go. Right. Um, Hickaby <laughs> does, though. Um, Hickaby sees we're surrounded. So, 
This looks pretty dark, guys. Uh, we're surrounded. Uh, Talk your could be way think, out. <laughs> he could be thinking these these are hobgoblins or something. I'm gonna assume he doesn't hasn't met goblin or orcs before, but he's seen lots of hobgoblins and bugbears. He's gonna shout out and goblin. And he's just gonna be like, "You got us! You got us!" Kind of holding his hands up. Guys, I don't think we'll get out of this. And he's going to put his hands up, dodge action, and oh, it's Q. Kind of move back behind some of the guys. <laughs> behind the one with the large shell. Smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, unfortunately, orcs do not speak goblin, uh, so they just kind of don't understand what's going on. Uh, these big giant orcs in plate armor are going to come to here and chuck spears. Javelins, in fact. Uh, Look out, there's spear chuckers. <laughs> this one at uh, Leon. I think this one at Tabaxel. Yeah. All right. Damn. So, Leon, you take eight. I believe, Tabaxel, you take 12. Or no, no, 12 to miss. 12 misses, my bad. Yeah, 12 misses. Okay. That's it for the Orogs. Snarn, you were surprised. Baxley, you're up. All right. Uh, let me use the short bow, and I'll, I'll shoot at uh, this blue one down here. Right in the first one. Reason. Oh, I, that's spikes. I'll shoot at him with the short bow. He doesn't miss. I think it just hits his armor and it's just like, dang. I'll stay where I am. Okay. Uh, the orcs. Uh, do you hear the orogs? The, the, the darker orcs. Charge! And they, uh, they rush in. You hear it in common, in fact. And they can actually move double speed for their speed they're moving towards an enemy and they will do so yeah they're gonna crowd all in okay we're gonna go clockwise starting with this guy and we're gonna he's gonna try to great at you you who Miss Nimbus. This guy misses Nimbus. All right. Also on Nimbus. 24. That hits. <laughs> All right. You take five slashing. And the this one's going to be on Snarn. Great axe. Seven. Um, also great axe. Seven misses. Okay. And the, and the crit fail misses. What was this thing? Um, yes, you still have your temporary hit points, correct. Uh, this one's going to be on Hickaby. Great axe. Disadvantage. Disadvantage, okay. Nope. Why does he have disadvantage? Tell me. Dodge action. Dodge, that's right. Uh, he misses handily. <laughs> uh, this one, Tabaxel. Uh, 22. That's wow, Ooh. that's a hit. 15. Uh, Ouch. These two are going Standard after. Standard orcs are. Yeah. <laughs> these are going after Leon. 21. All right. That's a hit. Take 11 slashing. And last one for Leon. Don't forget. Don't forget about our uh, our guide, too. She's around Oh, yeah. Somewhere. Thanks for pointing that out. Uh, let's put her in there. She might be able to take a hit or at least do some damage. Uh, oops. Yep, yep, yep. Unless that means you need to add more orcs, then, uh, then you don't have to. Um, Uh, 
how can I forget Azaka? Let's say she got oh, up no, she's here. such a bitch too, and now she's got her <laughs> funky mask. <laughs> uh, I'll have, uh, yeah, I'll get her into the mix next time. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. After the orcs, can I take my uh, reaction skirmisher? Yeah, what is that? Uh, if an enemy ends its turn within five feet of me, I can move um, half my speed and I don't provoke a copy. Okay, yeah, do it. I posted it up there a little bit. Right, are they done? Yes, that's all of them. Shell has been rended slightly. Say that. Did we damage any of them? No. <laughs> We're pacing ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wow. I'm going to. Oh boy. I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on. Next to the right of Nimbus. Which guy? And I'm going to shoot it. All right. Nice. Hunter's Mark. What's that one? D6. Hold on. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's a hit. 16 damage. Yeah, no, um, that's with the crit. So 11. That should be just 11. Yeah, that's right. So 11 plus uh, Hunter's Mark damage. Yeah, let me get that. D6. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think it hits him right in the chest, uh, right under his throat, and he's just <coughs> bleeding bad, choking on his, uh, choking on his own blood, but he's still up. And now... Stay right there. Okay. Nimbus. Is anyone talking? Nope. I didn't hear anybody. Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, Nimbus, you're up. All right. All right. Now now shit's getting real. Um, okay, so Nimbus is going after the one that was just attacked right there uh, with a quarterstaff. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the 11 misses. God damn it. All right, I'm going to use uh, Fury of Blows so for my first... Um, Bonus action. Nimbus is just gonna kind of jump up off this guy's knee and just punch that arrow that's in his chest just straight, <laughs> just straight through. Oh god damn it! <laughs> it's 11, 11. Hey, at least you're consistent. All right, and now I'm gonna do it again. All right. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> He's just like all elbows trying to defend you. And um, I will use my movement because would only would both these guys get attack of opportunity or just this one? Uh, they both would if you moved out of both of their ranges. Yeah, I can't. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I already used my bonus action, so I can't use disengage. Uh, Nimbus. Hide their movements, their visions based on movement. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right. Uh, I'm going to... I'll stay there. I'll stay. Okay. Azaka, she will run up to this Orog and take several swipes at him uh, with her scimitar. Oh, she crits nice. me. Nice. Um, but the 14 misses. So he takes seven slashing. Yeah, he's kind of stumbles back a little bit, but uh, he doesn't look that beat up. And that is her turn there. It could be you're up. Hickabee is going to disengage as his action, and he's going to run out that way. Uh, he's going to make a belt there. Okay, so far. And as he runs through the crowd, Pulling his longbow, Annabelle. Annabelle's gonna teach you some manners. <laughs> and he's gonna draw his shot, but not shoot since he's already disengaged. And he's gonna come up, shot, shoot this guy. Call off your troops or it ends for you. All right. And so. That's my turn. Moving action. I'm sorry, I was on Discord. Which one were you? Did you run by one attack of opportunity was? No, I, my action was disengage. That's ah, why right. I ran through them. Okay, gotcha. Pulling my bow out and getting ready to shoot him, threatening. Call him off or it ends. All right. He's going to run. Because they have so much to fear from us so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to run down and looks engage like, you. Looks like Blue's going to come out to save you guys. <laughs> He's going to take several swipes at you. Oof. <laughs> um, 30 damage. 19 damage. Okay. So the first hit's pretty much absorbed by the temporary hit points, and then I take 18 after that. I can't hear you. The, I had 7 temp, so... That's pretty much the first one. So what's left over is he ends up taking 18 hit points, 18 damage. So I'm gonna take that. Remember here, you can turn him up in the settings in Discord. He's cranked. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't That's know what odd. it is. My mic's closer than it usually is. Uh, I can hear you fine, man, so I don't know what's yeah. going on. Yeah. It's, it's Discord. I don't know what the deal is. I can normally hear him just fine, too. It's Anyhow, uh, Snarn, you're up. Oh, nope, the other Orog. Yeah, nice. I'm sorry, let me... Uh, this one's going to attack Azaka. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Okay, minus 18 damage. Uh, all right. Snarn, you're up. A handy cone for the 15-foot cone? Uh, yeah. You should have access to it, I think. Did I not give you? Let me double check. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Is it an ice cream cone? <laughs> yes, you can have some. <laughs> I was about to say it's the wrong way. Okay, yeah, you can hit those three. What are you doing, burning hands? Yeah. Burning hands. Okay. So, deck saves for these guys. Another thing I don't like about 5th edition, they killed color spray. I mean, they like mangled it and threw it in the trash. Dex. Kill. Makes and fails. All right, so it was 14 damage. Yeah, and then the guy that saved was seven. It takes half. 
Oof, yeah. The other ones are really crispy. They're almost toast. And the guy who t- took half damage uh, dies. Yay. Where do you want to put your Hunter's Mark, Leon? My Hunter's, Hunter's Mark was, Mark was on the one to the right of Nimbus. Oh. So maybe that one's not dead? If you did the damage journal. Yeah. All right. So just move it now. You want, I'll put it over there now. So the one with the air in his chest is the one that's dead. Okay. This is going really well. Perhaps we should give them our action. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good thing you had those temporary hit points. Uh, you need to move anywhere, Snar? You good? No, if I move, I'll do provoking opportunity. He was just basically flinging out his fingers saying, get away, get away, get away. <laughs> I like and it. And they burn. It's a backsel, you're up. All right. I'll drop my bow and draw my rapier as I walk over here. The, the snarl probably doesn't have Attack him with my rapier. All right. I'll go right for the eyes too. That's that's my. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen's a hit. Oh wow! Be able nice. to move his. Okay, sneak attack on that. <laughs> move his eyes out of the way. You rip his chin open. <laughs> Five piercing. Your sneak. Uh, sneak attack. Nice. Thirteen. Yeah. Okay. It's like ah! Yeah. My eyes. Ah! Yeah. You cut his face open. He just reaches and he's holding it with one hand. Maybe the blood will get in his eyes and we can't see. (laughs) He's blinded. Yeah, he's uh, he's really in rough shape. Cool. Uh, The orcs, though. He's going to try to return the favor by slashing you with his great axe. Crap. 17. All right, we'll go counterclockwise this time. Uh, this one on Nimbus. Eight. And this one on Nimbus. Miss. And a nine. Okay. Uh, these two on Nimble Leon. Nimbus. Leon. Eleven. Ooh, that was a big damage. Miss. All right, Leon, attack number two. Twelve. Nice. Okay. They're not rolling well anymore. Uh, this one's going to run up to Azaka. And attack her. Sixteen. He hits. Woo, nine damage. Azaka. No, she still looks pretty good. Uh, that's all the orcs that you see. Leon. Okay, I'm gonna fire again. Well, my mark is in the one to the right of Nimbus, right? Yes. So I'm gonna fire at that one. Okay, yeah, 20's a hit. Did that nine kill it? All right, nine total, gotcha. Did the nine kill it? No, no, it did not. Then I'm gonna do Hunter's Mark damage. Did that kill it? Uh, nope. Still up. Then I'm going to do Colossus on it. Okay. That got him. All right, and I'll just stay there. And you'll move your Hunter's Mark. Yeah, where do you want that Hunter's Mark? I'll move it... I'll move it to the one south of uh, Snarn. All right. Boop. He's marked. Excellent. Uh, Nimbus. All right. You only got one uh, on you now. I'm going to go after. <laughs> yes. Going to go after this one right here. So I'll do... What, five feet? Is that five feet mm-hmm. over here? There we go. Um, <laughs> Looks 
so you scribbled back and forth. <laughs> I know. I don't know what happened right there. Sorry. <laughs> Yay. Oh, yeah. That's a hit. All right. And I'll use uh, my bonus action um, to jump up and do a punch to his chest. Yeah. Nice. Did more damage with that than with the quarter staff. What was that? You did more damage there than, than with the quarter staff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, and he's still up, correct? Yeah, he looks All right. Though. Uh, and I'll I'll stay where I am. Okay. All right, Zaka. Zaka, she looks f maybe a little frightened, and uh, she's got this guy behind her, and this guy just just beneath her, and I think one of the guys with Leon is looking towards her, and I think the Orog is calling him over, you need to come protect me, and um, they're wanting to start to join and surround Azaka. So Azaka looks around, and <sighs> she sort of... Um, she makes sort of a, a resigned face, and she, um, you see the shape of her change, and uh, hair grows out of her, and she roars this crazy roar, and what you see before you now is this. Uh, the face of a tiger, but she's standing up on her hind legs as if she were a human. That's what she looks like now. Stormfang is actually a cat. Stormfang is actually a cat. <laughs> and uh, it's her action to do that, so she can't do anything else. that move I guess if she wanted to let's see here kitty kitty <laughs> nope that's what she can do all right uh, Hickaby you're up how is it taking me off my sheets minimize and I keep clicking it and it just keeps moving does everybody have their roll 20 um, their settings everything turned off as far as uh, what you're broadcasting should be no chat tech set to none uh, don't have any of those settings usually is I'll double check there's no chat settings I wonder if that's you mean in roll 20 yeah there's no I think it's something you can turn off, and so we don't have any. Yeah, if you go to settings and you scroll down to the bottom, it'll say video and audio chat options. There yeah, should be a drop zero, down. Zero. It should be set to none. I don't have that because I think you set it to none. Yeah, I don't have it either. Oh, okay. Just yeah, me. All right. Forget. Never mind. Just a thought. Uh, Hickaby, you're up. Hickaby is going to, after making this threat to this guy to stop. Sheets messed up. Hold on, I gotta look where my sheet is now. He's gonna, after threatening this guy, call off the troops or you're gonna end first. And Annabelle's shot and he's gonna shoot him. And I'm gonna be at disadvantage because I'm so close to him. But And I may have to do precise shot. No, I'll try and stick 17 hit. Uh, 17 gonna... just misses. Wait, who are you shooting at? The guy I'm right next to. I have to yeah. Um, yeah, 17 misses. Oh, right, because you're so close. Okay. And action surge. He's going to quick draw. Shoot another one. 
12, and that's still gonna miss. That was a warning shot. Call him off. <laughs> the next shot's going straight through your head. <laughs> that misses. All right. And so he just kind of. Him in a second. Yeah, he just laughs and um, <laughs> toe funk. He takes a swing at you. A couple swings with his battle axe. Ooh, they both hit. Uh, six and 17. 23. That's exactly how many hit points I have. Oof. Okay. And this one's going to attack Azaka. Hit and hit. Okay. Snar and you're up. You're up, Snar. All right, I'm going to create a bonfire where this guy is the hunter's mark. Oh, that's cool. If Gary's talking, nobody can hear him. No, nope, I was I was waiting. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, you did. Okay, my bad. Oh, the bonfire on the ground. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. So Dex. Oh, critically fails. So he takes four fire damage, and uh, <laughs> there's a yeah, bonfire he, there. Yeah. <laughs> so. He just bursts into flames. Whatever clothing he's got on bursts in flames. And before he can put it out, he falls to the ground dead. And to Axel. All right. Let's go for this guy in front of me again. Eh. Oh, yeah. He's dead. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to real quick spin around and throw a dagger at this guy. Okay. 13? 13 just hits. Nice. I'll throw some. <laughs> nice. I think it just like end over end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the pommel hits him really hard in the temple. <clears throat> nice. All right. All right. So minus five. Okay. Um, Man, that was fun. All right. You good there? And that's the end of my. Okay. You don't want to move. All right. Uh, oh yeah. Well. Yeah. I'll get. I'll get up here. Look at right now. Okay. Um. You hear the orog. Uh, as he's fighting Azaka up at the top, they, he screams out, Bring out the beast! The tide of the battle is turned! And, <laughs> and to your west, you see a couple of, couple of orcs, and uh, they've got a couple of ropes tied around the wrists of this creature here. Gary, if you just want to use our alternate characters, we could just start. With yeah, it. seriously. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's the orcs go. That was their go. Um, all right, this one on Nimbus. Great axe. Eighteen. That hits. Eleven slashing. Uh, let's see. This one on Tabaxel. 12. This one on Leon. 23. Take 7 slashing. 
this one on Azaka. 17. That's a hit. Azaka is a tough lady, though, so she's in there taking it. Uh, that's the orc's turn. Leon, you're up. Okay, I'm going to see my buddy Nimbus there in trouble. Um, move my to Use my bonus action to move my mark to him. Wait a second. Hey, Gary, did I get hit with uh, those all All four were for me or just that first no, one? No, no, just the first one. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, sorry. Am I still breaking up? Can you guys oh, still hear me okay? Yeah. I just, I for some reason thought okay. he was multi-attacking all no, no. of them at me. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just worried about my mic now, so I'm just making sure. Uh, no, no, they weren't. They weren't all for you. Um Okay. Leon, if you do move, you'll take an attack of opportunity from both orcs. But I'm not moving. I'm just moving my hunter's mark, I said. To oh, oh, oh. Okay, gotcha. To the one is by Nimbus? One is that one damaged? Which one? The one above you is, yeah. I think the box will hit it. I'm talking about the one above Nimbus. Yeah, he's damaged because I had uh, hit yes. him. Yeah, him and Nimbus okay. have been fighting. He doesn't tell you how many hit points he has, though. Well, that's fine. Um, 13. Uh, 13 just hits. And you kill him. Okay. And that's all I can do. Where do you want to move your hunter's mark now? You already did it against the uh, I, I, I did already did it. This oh, time. you did. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, Nimbus. <laughs> You're hitting them, but you're not killing them. They just keep fa falling. <laughs> I think it's Leon that's knocking them down. Yeah, no. Sh All right, I'm going to go this guy here and you quarter stuff. Yeah, that's a hit. All right. And then I'll use my... He's still up, correct? He's still up, yeah. And I'll use my bonus action. I'm going to use Fury of Blows, so I get two. First one hits and it kills him. Nice. Go, Nimbus, go. All right. <laughs> He's just a fury of fists and teeth. There you what? go. Cool. You want to um, stay there or do you want to move? Um, I will move uh, over here next to that one that's near uh, Leon. It's only fair. He's been helping you out up there. so. Exactly. Okay. Azaka. She will... Pull her sheet again. Let's see. I forgot. Um... Claw the uh, orc beneath her. They just attacked her. Uh, and she kills him. She slashes him up with her claws. And that's her go. It could be make a death saving throw, please. Beginning of my turn. Three. Fail. One fail. And I'm going to spend the rest of my turn drooling in the ground. <laughs> Bleeding. Bleeding. <laughs> you are bleeding. Uh, this Orog will attack. The troll just runs over and starts eating you. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Azaka. It will not be easy. I have faith, though. Oh! Okay. Holy Gosh, crap. He's just beating the shit out of Azaka. At least it's not huge damage. Oh, wait a minute. She has. Ha. Huh. Oh, only only in that form, I think. Yeah. So he keeps slicing and it, and it uh, it just seems to like hit the fur, but do no damage. She just seems. Oh, to... she's a like canthrope. Nice. Yeah. Oops. 
Yeah, I think even in the other form, she doesn't take it. So, okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, that's his go. Snarn. Go, Snarn, go. The other one go. Uh, oh, no, he didn't. Thank you. <laughs> He's like, did you kill everyone yet? I'll see here. <laughs> he can run. What's it called? Aggressive, whatever. And didn't need it anyway. He wants Leon. He wants turtle soup. Nine and 16. Two misses, right? Miss. Yeah, buddy. Um, okay, Snarn, you're up now. Okay, I'm going to fire Scorching Rays into that guy. Nice. <clears throat> okay, let's do it. 24 hits. 24 hits. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Three rays. 23 hits. Nice. All right, roll some damage. Minus six. Oh, nice. Minus. Minus 11. Minus 10. That's some good rolls. Those last two. Yeah. He takes them and kind of stumbles back a little bit. Uh, he's starting to look a little rough, too. That's for Hickaby. <laughs> to Baxel. Okay. <clears throat> How's uh, Azaka looking? Uh, she looks better now that the DM realized that she can only take damage from silvered weapons. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then I'm shuffle down here. Stab this. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you stabbed him. Oh, shit. Oh, hopefully it wasn't something, some kind of drink. <clears throat> no. <laughs> no. Spilled my beer on my laptop. Laptops get thirsty. Yeah. Try January. Sneak attack. That's a hit. Yep, roll that sneak attack damage. Oh, 30. close. He is still up. <laughs> She's reeling though. He um, can barely stand hold on, up. I can do a bonus attack here. A little offhand attack. My dagger. Offhand. Eighteen. Yes. Nice. Just hits. <laughs> no, no. You <laughs> needed two. Enough? You needed two, but you only got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Twisted. You hey, use your. Uh, you can use your uh, your reroll thing. My reroll thing. Yeah, your, uh, oh, your, your inspiration. That's your not worth inspiration. inspiration. <laughs> um, <laughs> two two great axe attacks might be worth. Well, I guess if other people you don't reroll damage. damage anyway, you just reroll attacks. That's true. That's true. Um, <laughs> cool. Uh, no, that's not that. <laughs> I miss. Orcs. This okay. one's going to attack uh, Nimbus. Miss. That's a miss. <laughs> Uh, these two are going to. Uh, this one's going to run up to Azaka. Actually, I think they both are. He's healing the, here in the Orog. And the troll runs Call away. For him. Uh, <laughs> he steps on Hickety and gets another crit. I'm not even going to roll because they don't have silvered weapons. Um, Leon, you're up. I'm just gonna take one of my, just one of my short swords and. Uh, oh, your um, beast isn't on the initiative. I'm gonna take one of my short swords and. Uh, uh, let's see. Hit that whatever creature is next to Tabaxi. Okay. It's the guy. It's a basically a commander orc. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you miss. Seventeen. Uh, does it to you? I think that's yeah. Seventeen just misses the orog. Okay. And um, as a bonus action, 
Uh, I'll move my hunter's mark to the big troll. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I didn't notice um, that. Damn it. And, and then my turn. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. He, he might be out of range of you guys at least this turn. Let's hope. All right. Yeah, he's um, just, uh, he, his orc handler's kind of left him. He's just standing there, and he's got these wrists. He's trying to, like, scrape off the... Um, the bonds leave go back to your home um, he can re- he can reach the closest <laughs> meal though <laughs> yeah. all right i'm gonna attack this guy right oh am i next yeah yeah number sure up yeah, right. i think the troll just uh spends the turn uh just kind of raking off the stuff and realize and he looks up and he just realizes what's going on and um you see drool coming out of his mouth and he looks over at hickaby Shit. Hungry. <laughs> All right, so I attacked that uh, orc that was right under me. Okay. Ten points. Nice. All right. And... All right. He's still up. Yes. Uh... <laughs> Okay, he's dead. And I am going to... Shit. Fuck it. I am going to go over here. To try to guard Mr. Hiccupy as I get eaten by a troll. (laughs) (laughs) Bite size. There will be no fun snice tonight. <laughs> and, okay. Zaka, she's going to turn her attention to the Orog. Actually, she sees what's going on, and she's just going to run through and just take three opportunity attacks. Uh, even if they hit, they can't do damage to her in this form. Um to oh, 30 feet so she, she can get to she can get to here and sort of stand in front of the troll too um, she pulls out her multi bow her long bow and takes a couple of shots at the troll uh, second hits for seven Let's see. Let's start of his turn. Okay. Um. It could be your own. I'll be back when we get some of the drink. Gotcha. Sheds a tear on behalf of his command shielding. <laughs> That's so sweet. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Two failed saves. Somebody's got a potion. I'm actually kind of excited. I might get my first. 5e death ever oh really <laughs> yeah oh, i like doing the voice of my backup character more but i would still like archery all right that's my turn all right it could be on death store you see uh poking around this rock down here a man in a, a dark cloak with a with a reaper um <laughs> orog he will it's alcohol <laughs> He'll charge into battle here, and he'll let's move these guys out of the way and just clear up the map a little bit. And he'll attack Leon. And this one will attack Tabaxel. Whoops. Twenty-two and sixteen. Oh, they both hit. Yeah, so both of those hit. Fourteen damage. Ooh. Ow. 
couch. Yeah. He's... Uh, <laughs> you get the sense that those are the last swings he'll ever make against anyone. Um, a snar in Europe. Can I, can I uh, make my... Well, yeah, can I make Yeah, my, I mean, if you have a reaction or... Yeah. So it's when you're attacked that's your reaction? It's when they move, when they end their turn. Next I see. Right, right, right. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. Snarn, you're mm -hmm. up. And that first guy looks really pretty. Yeah, this guy's hurt. on death's door, right? Yeah. So I'm going yeah. to do another scorching ray. One bolt into him and two into the one above him. Okay. Uh, yep, it misses. Oh, it should have had advanced. Hmm. All right, so the first one, oh, hold on. For your, okay, so the first one's just two rolls with advantage. Gotcha. And then you want those other two into the guy uh, uh, to the northwest of uh, Leon? Yeah, yeah. One okay. was into the first guy, and then we'll, the other two were the... All right, so the first guy misses, the second two hit. So eight and eight. Okay. Oops. Cool. And to Maxwell, you were looking rough yourself. Yeah. I'm going to run and slide over here next to Hickaby. I will or a health potion. We gotta start getting good bears to begin the day. <laughs> Alright. So who should roll the uh, health potion? Uh, if you're pouring it in Hickaby's throat, let Hickaby roll it. Ooh, okay. Use that backup character yet, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> down here. One attack Nimbus, one attack Azaka. Uh, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Nimbus misses. My, the damage shows up before the attack for me. Oh, it does. <laughs> like, oh my Weird. god. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so the, the second does hit Azaka, but again, she just, it, it's as if it does nothing to her. Um, was Leon. it going to be down before the troll came out? What's that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm, he wakes up and I, I angle his head towards the troll. Yeah. <laughs> Say, hey, oh. what the hell is that? <laughs> Wake up, Mr. Kibbe. There's a large green thing coming. Granny? <laughs> if that is your granny, I don't know what to say. <laughs> the image, I tell you. <laughs> um, all right, Leon, do your worst. Okay. Um, let's see. As a bonus action, I'm going to cast Zephyr Strike. What is that? Oh. Okay. So it lasts for a minute. Concentration. So um till the spell ends, no opportunity attacks. Awesome. Once before you can give yourself advantage on one attack roll. Sweet. Where'd that spell? Is that yeah. Xanathan? That's a cool spell. So, how do I measure movement again? I forgot. You pick up your token, hold the click down, and then hit Q after you move it. You, you 
click your token and hold it down. Hold down the click. Yeah, I'm doing hold that. Down. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Too many variables. <laughs> Very laggy. I move there and I'm going to actually use that um, advantage attack on uh, Orog to the, the most northern one. Okay. Okay. Oh, you crit too. Okay. So you do 14 plus an extra D8, it says. Yep. Hold on. Let me get that. Okay. Oh, Ooh. shit. Oh, come on. Yeah. These guys uh, are resilient. Was it, was it already injured? Yeah, it was, yes. wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Colossus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. These guys have a total of three hit points between them. Uh, let me see what I want to do. Um, I don't know. I'll stay there. All right. Is that a ranger spell? Is that for strike? Yes, sir. Oh, that's so cool. What is that, Xanathar's? Um... That's right. Not sure. Uh, trolley, 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 trolley. He regained some hit points. Oops. Yeah, his wound heals up where, you, where he was struck by Zaka's arrow, and he he rushes to the bottom here, and he will take a swipe at. Uh, I'll take a take a swipe at a Zaka. I'll see what his reach is. I think it's ten feet. No, is it isn't. Zephyrs from Xanathar's, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um Nope, five feet. He's going to try to dig into a Zaka. Bite. Yep. Uh hit, but again, no damage. Non magical damage. Um, that's his go. And uh, he looks at her and after he bit her, and she's just like, you know, smug in his face. And he knows better now. Nimbus, you're up. You're up, Nimbus. All right. Um, I will do a quarter. Nimbus will do a quarter staff attack on this one above him. All right. And was he already damaged at all? Uh, he was not. Shit. Okay. So he's wounded. This is one of the ones that led the troll in. Um, all right. Uh, I'll just use a martial arts attack on. Oh, and that's enough. <laughs> yeah. With the crit, you kill him. Whap, whap. We're in the nads. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to use my movement um, to uh, go right here. So those guys will go after me instead of going after Nar. Okay. And that will be my movement. I'm all good. Uh, Zaka will. She will attack the troll. All right. Crit and not a crit. 
So 12 damage to the troll. It's her go. She stays where she is. It could be. I feel much better. Woo. He's going to roll over, cock his bow, try and stand up. And is he in five feet of this creature? Uh, of the troll, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, you got a little distance in between. A little more than five feet. And he's going to get up, kind of kneeling. He's going to take a shot at this troll. Come on. What the hell? I keep trying to open my sheet, and it's like makes it very, very small. Okay. Uh, there we go. Does 15 hit. 15 does just hit. And he's going to do a menacing attack with it. Sweet. So he's got a wisdom save to do. Okay. Cool. And so it's 12 damage. Either way. He fails. Yeah, he fails. He's frightened. He is frightened. I'm going to put the condition in there for you. Disadvantage on attacks, ability checks. Can't willingly move towards you. Yes. And Hickory's going to use the rest of his movement and kind of roll backwards and crouch behind Nimbus. Or in between these two. Oh, I didn't take off for the menacing, I don't think. Okay. okay. All right. The Orogs. Uh, they're, they're attacking... Uh, Nimbus. First one. Ooh. Ooh, shit, that hurt. The second one hurts. <laughs> All right. A lot. And the other. Damn. Yay. Then both those miss, yeah. Yeah, excellent. Good thing. Um, Snarring, you're awake. You're up. You're live awake and alert enthusiastic. I'm going to cast Firebolt at the guy below, or the one right beside me there. Pretty much. I think any hit will kill him. He's dead. Oh, wait, it's a miss. Sorry. <laughs> just miss. 17 misses? Yep, just miss. Yeah, you need to think. They're a little beefier than the uh, orcs. And then I guess I'll move back a little. All right, to Baxel. All right. Let's move away from Troll. Just, uh, okay. Uh,. Last help. There's a cure moderate too that you guys should have. So. There's a what? There's a cure moderate too, big one. Oh, okay. Who's got that? Blue. <laughs> Technically, I did, but I would have given it to you. if I wasn't going up into the tower. It would have given, I would have given it to somebody before I went. <laughs> All right. This orc will rush into. He'll he'll leave. He knows he's doing no damage to her. He'll take the attack of opportunity. Just uh, it says multi scimitar. Or actually, just do a claw. She'll swipe at him with claw. Thirteen misses. Oh, it just hits him actually. Oh, she gets him good for ten damage. Crash rakes across his back. Ah, arches his both of his shoulders back. Um. And he will attack Hickaby. With a 15. 15 hits. 13. And Back down. Fuck! <laughs> it wasn't a crit this time, at least. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's all the orcs, right? Leon. All right. Um... Gonna move. And then 
take a shot at um, the one north of Nimbus. Which one? Ping it for me. The one north of Nimbus. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I mean, there's... You can't really hit him from there. You got the other one in front of him and Nimbus right in front of him. Like what? Oh, because there's people in the way? Yeah. And Tabaxel's kind of, you're going to have to move a little out of the way. Yeah, exactly. I mean, shooting a bow through all that. You could perhaps move to the right a little bit and target target the bottom one. I'll crouch behind this rock. All right. Well, there you go. Okay. You killed the bottom one? Yep. And I guess that's it. Okay. Troll. Uh, he chases after, he chases after Leon, who just left him, and, uh... He can't move closer to a Hickaby. He can now that you're unconscious, right? It, no, it's not a spell, it's a, until the end of my turn, it's in effect while I'm still in sight. Oh, okay, alright. So he didn't anyway. Um, he takes a attack of opportunity from Zaka. She yeah she rakes him good too, um, so but I forgot to add he gets at the at the beginning of his turn he he regains some health and he will try to eat Leon. Leon's hit points just moved up. I subtracted twelve because I thought you were attacking me, so I added him back. <laughs> Kidding. So twenty four hits. 23. Oh. Yeah, I'm down. 22. That is the troll's go. And uh, he's drooling heavily. And he's looking how he might be able to get... He's going to probably just eat your head first and then figure out how to get the rest of your body out of your <laughs> shell after that. <laughs> Uh, Nimbus. So... <laughs> I'm just poisoned right. by frogs. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to um, attack this one that's uh, above me. All right. And... Fuck. Mm-hmm. No. All right. I use my bonus action on him. Also miss. I can't hear you, so is he dead? Yeah, I missed Mike. I'm sending the shit back. It's also a miss. Oh, fuck. That's right. Excuse my language. Sorry. No, um, all right. I'll stay where I am. Stop fucking swearing, will you? Sorry. <laughs> I've, well, re- I've literally got the mic right in front of my face. It's just. Yeah, I know. Wow. Apologies. All right. Yeah, I'll stay. Oh, damn it. That's weird because I tested it too. I don't know. Maybe it's yeah. Discord. I don't know what it's doing. It's, it's strange. What it could be, like you just get cut off here and there. It just doesn't activate. Like right now. I wasn't talking then. How about now? Yeah. I've got the imp- input sensitivity just basically turned all the way down. Okay, <laughs> we'll roll with that and see what happens. Zaka. She will chase after. You put, push, push the talk on your space bar or something like that, and just hold down the space bar while you're talking. Shouldn't the input sensitivity be turned up? Well, you, he put the bar all the way to the left, which means that there's an, sh- shouldn't shut off at all. Right. Or it should oh. automatically as soon as he says something, it should automatically apertape. But maybe there's some sort of delay or something. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to work on it. But it didn't happen. I was recording stuff in OBS and stuff before. But anyway, um, whatever. So she will she'll take some swipes uh, with her scimitar. She still has those. Yep, they both hit. That's her go. It could be a death saving throw, please. Back to one. Mm-mm. There's one. One is the loneliest. Orog. Attacking. 
15. Misses. Okay. Both miss. Yep. Snarring, you're up. I think I will firebolt that one up there. Okay. Kill him. Please. You guys have to save me. Okay. 18 yeah, hit. 18 hits. And you kill him. Okay. Nice. You now have a troll and a lone orc. The troll is about to eat Leon. Shit. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> Even though uh, cat's beating on it. Yeah, Tabaxel. He wants turtle soup in the worst way. Yeah. I'm not a turtle. <laughs> he they come with their own He bowls. doesn't know that. Right. Turtles make more like a chowder. <laughs> yeah, and the, but they come with their own bowls, so it makes it easier to eat. Right. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to I'm going to hit this troll. I probably can't reach his eyes. But here we go. Mm. Pretty much had to roll a crit. All right. <clears throat> 12. And, uh, I hit him with the scimitar. Yeah, that's a hit. Is it? 15 just that's hits. Beautiful. And here's your. All right. Pecking away at him. 20. The orc. And uh, I want to uh, disengage here. But yeah, bonus action disengage. Okay. To uh, grab my bow, which is here ish. Okay. All right. Also, the orc. Orc is going to run down here and try to get into Azaka's back. Actually, nice. No, yeah, yeah, he is. All right. Swipes. Leon, you're up. Death saving throw, please. Oh, Leon failed. The troll. He takes a swipe at Azaka. Okay. And Nimbus. All right, Nimbus is going to okay. come down here. Got to in foot, foot, in troll mouth. <laughs> got to do what you got to do, bud. Got to do it. Save the peoples. All right. Quarter staff. What kind of quarter staff? <laughs> and um, I'll use for a flurry of blows so I get two. Uh, and, and 58. And on my second one, I'm going to use um, open open hand technique. So, or actually, yeah. Let me see. Uh, I, I didn't hit him with that one, did I? Uh, the 10 misses. 10 misses yeah. all right um all right yeah because i didn't call it earlier so um and i'll stay there all right zaka she will pounce and miss twice me you see yeah. it kind of turned around to like get her off. I'm trying to get turtle soup and just like slashing, but uh, she misses. It could be death save, please. Huh. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's two. He that's jumps two. up with one hit point. One hit point. Um, and I'm actually not going to stand up. I'm going to stay prone. Um, 
fletch it, fletch an arrow, and shoot this troll that's on her. The, uh, the, orc. the orc or the troll? Or the orc, yeah. Okay. The orc on the cat. <laughs> the orc on the cat. Yeah. Um, why can't I scroll my sheet? My sheet's locked. It won't go down. Because your sheet thinks you're dead, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it won't let me scroll and do the bar down my sheet. Like, it won't. What the hell? It stops halfway through. Close my sheet and open it again. I'm going to reload after this in a second. Maybe it'll fix the sheet problem. There it goes. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a menacing attack, not menacing, um, 25 hits, I'm going to do. All right, 25 definitely hits. Precise, I'm going to do a pushing. Uh, he's dead. Yeah. He's dead. So add eight damage, and it's next to her, so. Yeah, you already took him out. He's, he's gone. Then that's the end of my turn. No, oh, he's gonna roll over and kind of stand up. Say that again. <laughs> oh, so the I'm sorry. So the second attack was on the the troll. No, it's just one attack. Okay. Yeah. I the first the, the first to arrow took him out. Yeah. Oh, the orc. The sneak. It was a sneak attack. I was just clicking all the damage to go into it. I got gotcha. you. Okay. And he rolls over and stands up. Nice. Coughing up his own blood. All right, Snarn, you're up. I hope my friends are all right. <laughs> I am going to... I think I'm just going to firebolt the troll. Okay. Yep, so this guy's not in front of you. And the orc is, or the troll is very, very tall, so that's good. Yep. Uh, nope, 13 misses. Okay, and I'm just going to move a little. Snarn over there with his full hit points. Jerk. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, not cool. <clears throat> uh, to back one. All right. Uh, shoot an arrow at this troll. <laughs> Miss. I'm sure he got it in his general direction. Hark's to get out of that turn order. Leon. Death saving. Oh, no. Yeah, death saving throw. All right, you make. You got one make and one fail. Trolley, trolley. It's going to attack Nimbus. Ooh. Shit. All right, so I'm down. Uh. Yeah, you're not dead, but you're down. Two snacks. Troll looks like he feels better all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, Nimbus. He, that was his turn, so you make a death saving throw. Okay. All right. You make. Yay. Azaka. She just like leaps on the back of the troll. Claw. Oh, she crits and all right, fourteen damage. Nice. It could be. Do 
Yeah, yeah sorry. Hickaby, you're up. Oh, I thought I thought it was going. Um, no, die. He's going to come around the rock, and two of his friends are down right next to the beast, so he's going to try and distract the beast. How, how do you do that? He's going to shoot his arrows, and he's going to really hit it hard. All right. 15, he's going to roll a precision, see if that will hit. So yeah. 15 plus 5, that'll be a 20. Okay. So he goes down. 23 damage. Oh, yeah. And he's next to somebody, so you get that. Yeah, that puts him down. Okay. <laughs> the blood. So 28 damage. And then that's the end of his turn. Well, he's going to move closer and see if he can get a find where that greater healing potion is. Well, he might have good berries on. Be on. Oh, then he'll start reaching for the good berry on his next turn. Okay. So the troll goes down. Um... That was Hickaby's turn. Snar and you're up. There's nothing left, is there? Nothing moving. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll uh, go over to Leon and try stabilizing him. Because he's still down, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Burn a troll. They're both down. Uh, Actually, no. I'm going to create a bonfire on the troll. All right. Um, Does he have to make a roll for that? Yeah, he just goes down. I'm doing that on the troll. Okay. Okay. All right, so he, uh, you see him move a little bit, and he does expire. So we are out of battle. Quick, Hickaby. Don't die on us. Don't die Grab on Leon's good berries. <laughs> <laughs> but he ain't bought me dinner yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to start look for good berry. What? Find the other potion, too. All right. You gotta find a stack of good berries. <laughs> okay. Yeah, unfortunately, these you search these guys, and apart from the uh, experience points they have, uh, they've got empty bags. They were hoping to fill their bags with your things as opposed to give you their things when you killed them. That's okay. They gave us XP. Yeah. So that's that. Uh, go ahead and update your uh, hit points. We'll say Azaka kind of watches over you guys while you make camp. And you can go ahead and... So we're revived and all that? Say that again? Yeah. Yeah, we'll awesome. we'll say that... Uh, well, wh- who's going to take care of Nimbus? Uh, it could be finding a good okay. berry for Leon, I guess. <laughs> Leon uh, sits up abruptly. He goes, Master Chatter, is that you? And he sees Hickaby and goes, oh. <laughs> Master yes. Chatter. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly lost you. Uh, the thing is, is, is the troll gone? Yeah. Oh, are you talking um, to him? Yeah. Nimbus hasn't woken up. Maybe he can benefit from one of my berries, too. (laughs) Yes. Uh, You're able to give him one of your good berries, and Nimbus, you're awake. (laughs) Thank you. Can I roll some hit die? Okay. Um, we'll say you guys can make camp here 
and uh, or a little further off as Zaka recommends, and you can just go ahead and update your HP. Short or long rest? Short. Uh, she could say long rest. No, cool. While you guys are resting, Baloo, you, you aren't sure how long you've been traveling uh, until, and you guys rest, and then some time passes, and we'll say you, you pick up again the next day, and you begin traveling, and um, Baloo, you aren't sure how long you've been traveling, like I said, and you once again see this small red grung sitting on your chest, careful not to touch your skin. She says, the time is nearly at hand. It seems I am at the end of my rope. Let me explain my predicament. I'm sure you heard Rourke mention the ritual and your sacrifice. You stopped, Gary. Damn it. Keep, right after sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, she, she asked you a question, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, she's like she's waiting for you. She's. She, I'm sure you he heard Rourke mention. Okay. Yes, he blinks. All right, and uh, she says, "Our home, the village of Dungrunglung, is ruled by King Grok, who is well, quite mad. He thinks he is going to summon the goddess Nang Nang, with whom he intends to mate." She can- she kind of stifles a, a laugh with the back of her hand, as if he would lower herself in bed with one such as he. The problem is that he is rather violent and kills with little reason. So, to appease him, I have been whispering false prophecies to him, anything that will keep him from killing me and many others. But the blood moon rises full tomorrow night. That is when he thinks to bring Nang Nang from her celestial realm. When he realizes my prophecies are false, he will be enraged and surely kill me. I have a plan to get out of this mess, but Rourke will never allow it. She pauses and looks over her shoulder at the guy driving the wagon again. I sense your friends will be upon us soon. That will be our chance. I will loosen your ropes, and when your friends arrive, we must slay Rourke and his warriors. They are blindly loyal to Grok and will never go along with my plan. Do we have a deal? I blink, letting her know that I understand. Okay. She slowly... Is my trunk tied up? No, it's just lolling all around. She uh, she cuts the underside of the rope so they can't see, and you could feel like like you 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 push up against it and you maybe flex a little bit and you could tell uh, any good movement you could burst burst free of your bonds. Cool. Yeah. I I keep my eyes squinted. I look kind of try and look around a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. See one, if I can. St- uh, <laughs> am, am I still wearing my armor? Yeah. Yeah. You got everything on. She's um, and. And your weapons are tied to the cart as well. So everything is right there. It's just tied nice. down. Uh, but right now it's not. Uh, it's loosened and you could get to that with, with little effort. Excellent. Okay. Um, everybody else, back to the party. You guys have followed uh, the tracks. And after you're running with the orcs, you picked up the trail again for Baloo. And uh, they keep getting fresher and fresher. You can tell that the tracks are, that the trail, it must be rough going for the cart. It kind of, um, constant rain has sort of muddied the ground. And you see the wagon ruts, they flare to the left and the right as if, you know, it's it's hard for it to keep on a straight line. And as you round the bend, uh, back in the jungle again, you're met by several green grungs, weapons drawn. And beyond them, you see blue. Uh, tied to a wagon and then shortly thereafter you hear um you hear you hear your friends and you hear some you hear some some noises 
uh, some mutterings, and you hear troops. Who goes there? Um, and let me put you on the map here. You say we heard troops? Um, well, you hear the... Uh, Baloo hears the grungs. And uh, they're, they're murmuring that, uh, we're being followed. We're being attacked. And this is what everyone sees. So you see grungs all over and there are blue is being hauled away on a on a cart here yeah and these have bows drawn and they're ready to fight so i know we just ended a super long battle but everybody everybody roll initiative including blue well i saw him coming thankfully yeah <laughs> Murlocs. Nice. <laughs> My fantastic initiative rolls. That's fantastic. And Rourke's going to roll. I wonder what that's going to look like. Let's see. What does it just say? Oh, it says Rourke. Okay. And a Croc is going to roll. Mm-hmm. Go Crook. All right. So, oh, that's a new one. Okay, so you hear you hear um, your crook uh, lean over to you, Blue. Now is the time, and Blue, you get to act um, now and then on your initiative turn. Okay, so I pop up, grab my weapons and shield. And cast a shield of faith on myself. Okay. And yell, I, and certainly Torm, has had enough of you. All right. No, I will go. Uh, I don't know if I have a, uh, I've already did my attack, so I can try to move from that point. But yeah, you can try to move. Shield faith is a bonus action. Oh yeah, it's a bonus action. There you go. Yeah. Oh, it is a bonus action. <laughs> Sweet. Um. Yeah, because you wriggle out of the ropes pretty freely. They're not really even watching you. Nice. My friends, come to me. I will distract them, and I will whack this guy, the guy that's to my west. Okay. Or my left. All right. Funk. Yeah, you hit him. He makes a gross sound, but he's still alive. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's see here. Croc. Thorm, protect us. Uh, you see uh, Croc reach up, and um, she uh, pulls out a dagger. And uh, she rushes up and <coughs> attacks Rourke. And Rourke's like, Grok, you treacherous cur. And she's, he's like, Grok, we'll have your hide for this. And uh, But before he can get all the words out, she attacks him. So. <coughs> I'll get it. It's not for me. All right, 21. He is, however, immune to poison. All right. Uh, so, Leon, you're up. All right. Um, I'm just going to shoot between Nimbus and Tabaxel. That guy right there. Okay. Four hits. Uh, 
yeah. You take him off his feet with your arrow, and he falls to the ground dead. Nice. And I'll just stay there. All right, Hickaby. Hickaby looks at Leon in wonderment. Are these your people? And <laughs> seeing him attack <laughs> one of them, he puts his, um, what are these things? Bl- um, his fried sturgeon wing down. And takes a shot. At what is the creature pulling the wagon? Can we see it? Uh, there's a triceratops, and um, there are a couple of uh, grunks fighting a red one and a yellow one. Uh, the yellow one looks like this. Looks like he's been oh. eating a lot of chocolate. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and. No. Is the Triceratops a large creature or bigger than that? Yes, it is. Is it's larger than it's bigger than large? Uh, no, it's just just a large creature. Okay. Hickaby's going to try and shoot the thing pulling the wagon. Okay. So he's going to take a careful shot. Uh, from where? Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of hard to see there. I mean, I'll let you take a shot at it, but there's sort of like this mound in the middle here. And there's a okay. bunch of trees. Yeah. Okay. As long as I can see part of it, I'll be okay. But I'm going to try and move, finagle through the brush, through his people. Okay. And, uh, maybe get there. All right. Or one over. I think I'll be able to see part of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, cover is one thing, but like, I mean, I know you can't shoot through a mountain. So, but from there, you're good. Okay. okay. Um, so he's going to take one of his good shots, 26, and he's going to try and do a, oh, I thought I had tripping shot. I don't, um, yeah, well, pushing shot. Okay. Um, so it does 14 damage. Okay. And it has a strength save or be pushed up to 15 feet away. All right. Okay. No. Uh, I'll say it. I'll say it tips it over. I'll say it tips it over, and uh, I'm gonna have these guys make dex checks to see if they can jump out of the way of the tipping wagon. Whoa! Whoa, Nelly. Balu is so clumsy. Nope. Look, I am very clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Balu goes flying up in the air. I think Balu oh! kind of lands up here on the <laughs> side of this thing, um, but the wagon falls. Towards these guys. <laughs> the wagon probably hidden from everybody else. Hickabee's winces. Ooh. He's like, ooh. Ah, yeah. Wagon. <laughs> just say it crushes these guys. Um, Croc and Rourke are kind of thrown over here, and they're just <laughs> fighting tooth and nail. Good news. The wagon stopped, guys. That's my turn. Excellent. Uh, Rourke. He's going to try to stab again. They're fighting dagger, dagger. Ah, oh, he stabs her. Your French frog has been stabbed. Uh, but she, she's trying to fend him off. Snarn, you're up. Okay, I'm just going to, I guess, shoot at that guy. All right. Okay. Yeah. Wow, is that massive damage to that guy? <laughs> it was a Italian German French. <laughs> the eyes hurt from the fire. <laughs> yeah. Uh make sure they don't have any immunities. Nope. Just a poison. Alright, cool. Uh the grungs. Uh, they open, they will, um, these guys will rush, this one will rush down here, this one will rush up here and fling a dagger, fling a dagger, uh, 
this one. All right, so this guy's going to try to stab uh, Hickby. Nine misses. This one's going to fling a dagger at Tabaxel. And miss. <laughs> fling a dagger at Azaka. And miss. Wait. Hit it. She takes poison damage, too. Okay. Oh, she has a 14 AC. Nice. Uh, 12. <coughs> These are going to scramble up here. Do not ignore Blue. Blue is your enemy. And then... Uh, this one here is you. And uh, he's going to turn a fling a dagger at you. Okay, you insist. <laughs> uh, ten. Not even close. Yeah, this guy can't get close enough to fling one. Actually, he can fling it at his locker. Twenty-two hits. She's like a magnet for this shit. All right. Okay, Tabaxel, you are up. All right. So. And uh, Azaka says to you, oh, beware the poison. I can feel it in my veins. Oh, from the daggers. Okay. Uh, throwing them at us anyways. I'm going to step up here. And... Like that one right. The rape. This. Mm, yes. Miss. 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 Great miss. Okay, Mr. Nimbus. Okay, I'm gonna go down here and use my quarter stuff on that one right in front of uh, Tabaxel. The twelve just hits. Awesome. And then I'm gonna use my uh, bonus action to uh, kick him in the chest. Do oh, it. You kill him. Crush his little frog heart. All right. That's all. Mr. Blue, you are up. Uh, you see Croc and Rourke fighting. And she's like, Ah, oh, Blue, I need your help. I move over to here. And I smack him with my... Miss. Where is Miss? There it is. Oh... Get him good. Then I had, then I cast. Where is it? These. And uh, you guys see a large gauntlet appear in the air and make a fist and come straight down. You don't see that part because there's so much crud in the way. But and, yeah, sixteen uh, yeah. for the spiritual weapon bonus action hits. Huge mace. Huge. Ethereal mace. All right. Actually, it's... Spectral? It's, it's wrong for some reason. It's supposed to be my spell attack bonus, and my spell attack bonus is six. What would it? Sh what should it be, then? Well, let me just double check. Die 8 plus your spell casting ability from modifier. Okay, so it's just the ability. I thought it was a spell casting. So it is right. It's right. Okay, cool. Uh, excellent. Uh, Croc will move to this side to allow you more room to swing your heavy weapons, and she herself will attack. Damn it. With her dagger. Yeah. All right. She stabs him. You loud, you treacherous loud. Uh, Leon. All right, I'll move over a little bit. And try to pick off this one right here. This one right here. Okay. <laughs> Watch out, Tabaxel. Uh, yeah. You hit, and again, you pick him up off his feet. 
hits the ground. And that's it. All right. Take a B. <laughs> a little late in trying to encourage him to shoot that one. Um. Ah, he could be starting ducking and diving, dodging, diving, dodging, ducking. <laughs> what are these things? And he's going to take a shot, even though it's at disadvantage of this ugly thing right in front of him. Okay. Fifteen. What are you shooting? It, yeah. Misses. I'm sorry. What are, you, what are you shooting at? The creature right in front of him. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it would be 10, ten that close? Yeah, it's ten's a miss. Get the slimy thing off of me. <laughs> it's like you can't even you, you can't even get full extension on your bow. It's so close. <laughs> yeah. um, Every time he pulls back from the bow, he ends up ducking and diving and dodging this thing. All right. <laughs> guy is going to do this he like makes <laughs> hey uh chur, this crazy like cricket frog chur uh chur and uh blue will need to roll a wisdom mm -hmm. saving throw come on are you oh. kidding me <laughs> they'll grog you from the poison <laughs> you're stunned Melon head. And he turns his attention back to Crook. But it's Snarn's turn. No, but you don't take any damage. That's lucky. Yeah. <clears throat> Does stunned make you lose concentration? Yes. I don't know. I could probably roll concentration. Incapacitated. How do you roll concentration? I don't it's think so. Something. It doesn't say it. it. Doesn't say that. Is there incapacitated? So incapacitated yeah, just so means you can't take actions or reactions. You didn't take damage, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Still, how do you roll concentration? No, you didn't. You didn't take damage. It's a constitution check. Okay. Constitution save, but okay. you don't need to. Okay. You didn't take damage, so you don't. You're still concentrating. Nice. You're just rigid. <laughs> Fucking one. I am going to shoot that guy down here. Okay. In front of Hickory. And probably miss. Yep, 10 misses. This boy's going to stab at... Uh, Higby, get me some. Twelve. Misses. This guy is going mm -hmm. to move down to here and attack Tabaxel. Ten nice. misses. Uh, Nimbus. He's just going to wail back and try to slap you with his hand. Ah, oh, that's a miss. Woo! Okay. He was trying to stick you with some poison. <laughs> um, that's it for the grungs. Tabaxel, you're up. Cool. Rapier, they got right in front of me. <laughs> yeah, 24 hits. 12 damage? Yep, still up. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. No, he's dead. Six plus the... Yep. That'll do it. Oh. Uh, well, there's two here now. Okay. I'm going to move down to here. And then I'll, uh, I'll scimitar this guy down, down below me. Man. Maybe I won't. Yeah, tons of mess. All right. Nimbus, you are a whoop. 
All right. Um, Nimbus is going to attack the guy right under Tabaxel with my quarterstaff. Okay. He's dead. <laughs> Brain. uh, brains everywhere. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to go after that guy um, right next to me and uh, Hickaby. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, 19 hits. You just like plug him in the back of his head. Oh, he's still up, though. And that's it. All right. Blue stun. He can't move. Grok. Uh, she attacks. Dagger, dagger. It's Leon, you're up. All right, I'll take the shot. Uh, the one underneath it could be. All right, you got to move somewhere. Otherwise, he has cover with those trees, unless you have... No oh, cover no. resistance or whatever. All right, I'll move there. Yep. Okay. You hit, you kill. Care to move? I'm done. Okay. Uh, hey, Kibbe. Good shot, my little friend. That was a stinky situation. Oh, blue. Is he okay? I'm gonna. Yeah, you guys. Uh, you don't hear him anymore, and you. But you do hear battle uh, going on over where the overturned card is. <laughs> and he's gonna make it about there. I'm good at the retreats. I don't have any art for overturned carts. Um, Hickaby's gonna take a shot at. The ugly thing attacking blue. Okay. The chocolate guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does look like a chocolate covered banana. It's like a four year old on a birthday cake. He loves <laughs> yeah. to eat oil. Be careful. He's <laughs> eating oil. <laughs> does oil. 14 hit? Uh, 14 just misses. And yeah, might as well. Action surge. Do -do -do -do. <clears throat> I got you, Blue. Yeah, Blue's on the ground. Oh, I don't. Don't got you, Blue. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was standing there waving back and forth with stars over my head. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, all right, so this guy attacks. He can't use his chur anymore, thankfully. Um, Yay, I am no longer churred. Yep. Uh, six damage to work. She's looking... Not rough, but bloodied. Yep, you're good. You're no longer stunned. Snarn. Okay, can I... Which is the bad one there? The yellow guy or the red guy? Yellow. You heard the... Well, I guess you don't know from there. You're not sure. Am uh, I able to see that? Uh... Yeah, I'll say I'll say you saw I see from that angle. I think you and Hickaby, maybe not maybe not maybe you guys up there, but not the guys in the middle, and then Hickaby down here. You saw him make that cheering sound and saw blue psh, go weak in the knees. So the, and the is that yellow a clear one. shot I can do a firebolt through there. Uh I think it'd be there, yeah. Standing up on that edge a little bit now Baloo is not active or he is active now yeah he's on the I'm ground stand oh I fall on the ground there's a big blue floating gauntlet though but you're an active <laughs> fighter or are you incapacitated right now I'm on the ground I'm laying down he's incapacitated okay you're looking for sneak attack I don't know if she'll count as an ally no, you're not doing anything to harry the other guy, so sneak attack won't. Mm -hmm. uh, fireball oh, yeah. hits. Four yes. damage. Okay. Tabaxel, you're up. 
right. Yeah, Blue's kind of standing up now, like, whoa. <laughs> what was that? I'm going to dash over to here. Stand on the edge of this cart. <laughs> Your Walkman's playing. This is having a party. <laughs> All right, about that. Watch these two fight, and I look very confused. Like, where are they fighting? My first thing is, I'm thinking the yellow one is protecting blue from the red one. Yeah, I think. Okay, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Nimbus. Oh no, wait. Uh, I still have movement left. <laughs> Let me. I can bonus action dash. Okay, I'll bonus action dash, and I'm gonna try to wake up Baloo over here. Yeah, he's groggy, but he's just now getting up, and he's just like, "Whoa, what? What happened to me?" Okay, I'll ask him. What the hell is going on? Tabaxel killed the yellow one. Oh, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Nimbus. All right, Uh, I'm just gonna uh, move forty feet and. Actually, dash gives me, what, another 20? Another 40? Another 40. Oh, shit. I don't think that. Get you bonus action dash or something like that with the monk. I'll make that up. It doubles your movement, basically, when you dash. All right, so I'll finish up, like, right there. Maybe right there. Okay. Um, Just to kind of see what's going on. Um... And that'll be my movement. I'll just go, Mr. Baloo. Yeah, and I think as you it, it, you hear I'll him say, run up. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, yeah. I think as you you, you hear Baloo telling Tabaxel, attack the yellow one. But I think Baloo will kind of demonstrate that here. Baloo slowly stands up. His face darkens like when he grabbed hold of that cho- that insolent child back at the thing, and goes. You will not enslave Baloo. And he swings. Actually, he's going to. Do a guiding bolt. Hit. And then. Don't you still have your spiritual weapon up? And then spiritual weapon. Okay, yeah. That's a miss, though. And then I will move. There. Okay. She's going to take a stab at him. Yep, she hits. He's still up. And Leon, way back in the crowd. All right, so I'm going to move. And do I have any kind of shot or is like to back along the way? I think if you kind of climb up on this little promontory, whatever, you could see over all that overturned stuff and take a shot. It's already damaged, right? So yeah, he's damaged. Okay. The class was for six months. Yeah. He, he like grabs the arrow in his heart. Oh, Croc, you will pay for this. Oh, and he expires. <laughs> and that is that. Unless you want to kill it, the dinosaur and everybody else too. <laughs> I kill the plants. <laughs> <laughs> so I reach I, down. Go ahead. I reach I, down my trunk and I cast. Hold on one second. I am down on my spell here. Cure wounds on her, on Croak. These are all the other grungs I had planned to fight you two, but I decided not to. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Damn. Too many. I especially, I didn't think that first battle would take that long. But 
All right. We could have taken all the other ones. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no shit. All the time. <laughs> so I, t I touch her with my trunk and and do uh, healing. Do I? I should make a poison saving throw, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, should. Let's see. Save all of those goddamn cure wound spell for us. <laughs> uh, you'll be fine. You touch her, you make a DC 12 con save. There you go. That makes up for the last time I forgot okay. about save. Um, does no damage, but you would just have the poisoned effect, so it's kind of, it wouldn't matter. Anymore. And then and then I'm over, my friends, my friends, you came for me. And I, like, walk walk right over and give Tabaxel a big hug and lift him up. And then, like, reach out with my reach out with my trunk and grab Nimbus and lift him up. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you missed quite a, uh, quite a journey. Why do you have so many holes in your stuff? <laughs> you uh, look like had, shit. <laughs> we all look like shit, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Baloo. It has been quite a journey. We were almost killed by flying dinosaurs and then orcs and a troll. Uh, after I'm done reuniting, I walk over to Croak and I say, Are you all right, little one? I am quite all right. Thank you very much. I, uh, I thank you for what you have done for me. No, what you have done for me. And I quickly tell them the story of uh, how she disobeyed her master and basically fed me healing potion instead of poison and allowed me to uh, uh, strike when the time was right. Thankfully, you guys showed up when you did. Miss Stormfang is actually a giant cat. What? <laughs> she is? Yes. She, kind of, she looks down her nails and she's like, I need to take a walk. And she goes, like, she just wanders off, doesn't want to talk about it. Um, so it's okay. You can be a cat. We're okay. <laughs> I'm a giant elephant. <laughs> Leon walks over to Blue and goes, "You don't look so bad. I guess Tom kept you pretty safe, huh?" She did, and I shake Leon's hand, uh, and then squish him. <laughs> she then uh Crook says uh uh yes thank you uh about our deal are you willing to help me save my own life Gary you're cutting out you're Gary you're cutting out again I can't hear him she says are are you willing to help me save my own life about oh, our deal. Yes. Yes, I'd be willing to help you. You saved mine. She says, uh, King Grok is so obsessed with summoning and mating with Nang Nang, he has neglected protecting the Grunglung from the ever-present zombie threat. All of our resources have instead been used to construct a shrine to Nang Nang, where Grok's ritual is to take place. As he has descended into madness, he has claimed many lives. But I have a plan to save my life and hopefully deal with Grok. I will tell Grok I had a vision of the arrival of a group of mages who will assist in summoning Nang Nang. That is where you come in. You make your way through the hedge maze and into the town and to the shrine. For the ceremony, you will paint an image of Nang Nang on the wall inside the shrine with this. And she hands you a box. And um, it is magic pigment. You paint it on uh, an object. And the object seems to come to life. Perhaps with a couple of spells. And she hands you a couple of scroll, pulls a couple of scrolls out of the box too. And so the pigments are not Nolzer's Marvelous Pigments. And the spell scrolls are Minor, minor Illusion and Major Image. I think Leon with these... Says, yeah, let me... Uh, says, I'll put that in the chat. Leon says, uh, how do we know what Shanene looks like? Uh, the mud shrine we have been building for her is a perfect example. 
you cannot but miss it when you come into the into Dongrongalung. But you will need to make it through the maze. It will be very difficult. But I must go ahead of you and tell the king of my prophecy. Why can you not just run? It is my home. I just do not like the rule, but I love my home. Do you have friends there that will back you if, if this all goes as planned? If it goes as planned, yes. But if things go south, as they say, I fear for everyone. Yes, they will. So they will flock to the strongest one, correct? Most likely, yes. That does go okay. Bolu is pretty strong. Okay. So I will uh, give you these things then. And uh, she hands you the uh, Nalzer's um, Marvelous Pigments. I'll just put this in the chat. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Give us these things. There's no way anything... This sounds lovely. We're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I, I take the box and bow slightly for her, and then I hand it off to Snarn. Can't be any worse than the death gauntlet, right? She says, um, "What's the death gauntlet?" Oh, I'm sorry. I make that go away. <laughs> yes, it it can be worse. This entire place is worse. Everything we faced has made the death gauntlet look good. But the Nimbus, we are so much stronger now. Mm. I just died. I literally almost <laughs> died. Mr. Tabaxel no, almost died. Hickaby almost died. Le Mr. Leon almost died. You guys Snarn. need to be more careful when I am not around. Yes. I, I will Miss protect you. Mr. Snarn is the strongest person here, <laughs> apparently. You just got to learn to run away from them. Or shoot <clears throat> fire out of your fingers. That seemed to work, too. Yes. Thank you. Leon looks at his fingers and tries to make these finger guns and fire come out of him. <laughs> um, so she says so to you... Blue um, walks over to... Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Blue walks over to Azaka and says, What say you? Will you come with us? I am your guide. Of course I will come with you. He bows to her. Thank you for coming. You did not have to. We had fulfilled our bargain. You had fulfilled yours. What else do I have? No, to she hadn't. She has <laughs> not. No, she has not. The hell are you? No. Did you guys struck a different plan? She, we were to bring her. She was to bring. Oh, no. She has to bring us to the other place, right? No. Yeah. Yes. Or, okay. Or, then. Yeah, but she could have went back to town and said, I'll, when you're ready to go, I'll go. You know. Stop the false praise, Mr. Blue. We're happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> well, do, how many days do you want Head Start, Croak? Uh, just give me half a day. I, I think these things, along with a little of your magic, can help Croak believe that Nang Nang has arrived. But I warn you, he Could is Could we very... arrive by tomorrow morning? That would be most beneficial. Yes, tomorrow night is when the ceremony tomorrow takes night. place. So as long as it is uh, sometime tomorrow. Tomorrow um, morning would be perfect. But let me detail the rest of the plan. You must know it. Once you have painted the image of Nang Nang, you must, one of you must give it a voice, either surreptitiously or with magic. You must speak to Grok. Does... Does Ning Nang speak common? Nang Nang is a god. Nang Nang speaks Grok, speaks Grung, and she will speak common. Oh, thank you. But you must speak to, she must make Nang Nang speak to Grok with honeyed words. He, as I said, he hopes to bed her. But you must tell him Nang Nang must tell him he has lost his way. And that he, until he learns to treat his people well, that she will never mate with him. Huh? 
She will then depart, saying she will return for him. When she is satisfied, he has earned the right to be with her. Is your king strong if we end up in a fight? He is will quite strong, but he is obsessed with, with Nang Nang. I think... No, I understand. Yes, I think his... Uh, I think his thoughts are elsewhere, not with battle. But yes, he is very strong. I I will offer you this in exchange. You can keep the pants, of course. But I have a ring. And she holds up a ring and says, I have little use for this since I can jump quite far already. But for one of you, perhaps, it, its magic allows you to jump great distances. Ooh, that is very nice of you. Thank you. She puts it back in her pocket. Of course, when this is over. And, uh, this is over what? Yeah. She offers you a ring of jumping. Can and I she bids you, you farewell. She, um, she gives you directions to Dung Grung Lung. <laughs> Nang Nang and Poon Tang are pretty much the same. They're synonymous. <laughs> Um, yeah, so she gives you directions to Dungrung Lung, and you guys are able to camp at night, and I think that's where we wrap it up tonight. Okay, so maybe search the bodies, see if there's anything on the, the big baddie, and then, uh, camp. Yeah. Is anyone hurt? I can cast a couple spells before I go to bed. We're good. But are there any of those roots around we can eat? <laughs> Uh, you can make a survival check, but you need to roll really high to see because they're very rare. Someone want to assist me with this? Sure. No, I'm not trained. Groovy. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not trained, but you can still roll it. Uh, let me Disadvantage. It just gives, yeah, it gives advantage if you assist. Was it survival? You say? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, that'll go for the party. Rolled, so we both guys, rolled sevens, so. You know yeah, what? you guys look around and you weren't able to. To, to find any of the roots. I think uh, Azaka too looks around, but it's not able to find any. He's going to use his inspiration to reroll it. Yeah, I'm using my inspiration. Okay. Oh. There you go. Nah. It doesn't, doesn't, yeah, well, doesn't do it. Yeah, you probably... It's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take aid tomorrow, <laughs> and we'll get everybody at least a die four to add the things. Okay. Let's we'll yeah. see. Cool. Well, she gives you directions. So I, and, uh, shoot I, I will you. gather... I'm going to gather everybody together and just cast uh, and cast uh, prayer of healing. Okay. And we can spec 13. Nice. I think for next week, hey, I'm going to try a headset. <laughs> How many of you use headsets? I use a headset. I don't. I use one. I do. Okay. Yeah, I think I can hear the people with the headsets the best, so I'm just going to swap that out, give it a try, see if that helps. Yeah, it's really weird how you're, uh, like, sometimes your mic is on, like, I can see the ring, but you just don't, nothing comes out, and then you, and then it shows up sometimes, and then doesn't, and then it's just weird. Yeah, like, the whole thing. Like, Best Buy or Walmart? Yeah, I heard, I assume that someone heard his entire explanation from the the thing. I've heard most of it, but some of it got cut out. So, and yeah, Snarn has like the box he, now. He came in with a Zaka. I only heard, like, parts of it. And it didn't make I have what box? Yeah. The box mm-hmm. of stuff. The Nolzer's Marvelous Pigments, Spell Scrolls, Minor Illusion, Major Image, and the planned for to, to do. Did everyone hear that fully? Yeah. Okay. Nang Nang wants some Poo Tang. Yeah. his thoughts are on Nang Nang doesn't want the Poo Tang. It's the king <laughs> who wants the Poo Tang. Nang Nang. Nang Nang's Poon Tang. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's Nang Nang kind of wants Poon Tang too, yeah. but the king doesn't. It needs to needs to be more better than than he mm-hmm. is to get the Poon Tang. Exactly. That's what we're gonna do. So that will be interesting to see how that goes. I don't know how that's going to go. Um, yeah, I'm taking a high. Uh, I would, uh, if I was placing a bet in Vegas, uh, I would bet on us getting into a fight pretty quick on that. Yeah, Snar, what do you have for cantrips? Do you have for vegetation? No. Damn it. I can make bonfires. <laughs> I can 
shoot a bolt of fire. Yeah. Well, precipitation is probably the best spell ever for yeah. cantrip. You'd be able to throw your voice and stuff. Yeah, I don't want to die. No. <laughs> well, it gets you clean and it gets you dry. It makes your things cold. It makes your things hot. It's like Fireworks a the soup. Slam yeah, doors. It's, it's just the best thing ever. Yeah. It's a very, it's an awesome role playing aid. And it would be really helpful to make the, the Ning Ning nice and loud. Well, we could make, we could have, well, we can talk about it next week. Yeah, of course. Yeah, for sure. My only hang up is they should have made precipitation and thermaturgy a bonus action so you can cast a spell and do the magic stuff with it. Yeah, that'd be really cool, actually. Yeah. That's my biggest hang up. Cool. I just don't see how this is going to work because if he wants to hook up with this thing, if we're creating a major illusion or a minor, at some point he's going to want to touch it. <laughs> Well, you know. Well, we can make it. We can make it, it yeah. float up out of reach. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it is a god. I mean, if I was a god, I'd probably be sitting like cross-legged and floating in the sky, going, "You want to do it with me? You are not worthy." I think we should have you do the voice. I think that's established. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have to do a girl voice at that point. You that are wasn't not a girl worthy. Voice. <laughs> All right. Well, good session. I'm glad we're all live. I really thought of the I, my wife walked by at one point. I said, at least of us are going to die. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not missing any more games, man. <laughs> You'll get kidnapped anyway. Yeah.